Here we got caries going underneath the gingiva. Anesthetize the patient. I'm filling this in with red wax. I hope you get a feeling for how easy this is. I know you've never done it probably, but it's easy just to fill that defect up with red, red wax, burnish it with any instrument that red wax burnishes very easily, much easier to work with than composite. Much easier to work with than composite. So if I have any, you know, contouring that I want to do, I'd rather do it in red wax. Go ahead and take your impression. Now it's important here that this tip doesn't mar the surface of your red wax. Otherwise, that marring is going to show up in your composite and require you to do more finishing. Here we are. Now that slide got a little cockeyed, but that's okay. You can get the idea. You can see the red wax in here. Here's our prep. Light cure. And notice the flash. This flash on this rubber dam and over here, that won't stay there. That flicks right off. We've got some flash down here. Again, not a major problem, especially if you don't acid etch that. Here we've removed the flash with my favorite composite shaping instrument, my number 12 blade, and our finished composite. Five to 10 minutes of chair time has been saved because we used a clear custom matrix that reforms the unset composite and leaves a surface that is not air inhibited and needs minimal, if any, finishing or polishing. This saves the dentist and patient, again, five to ten minutes of chair time. So here are some of the materials. I've used every one of these materials. Every material is a polyvinyl siloxane bite registration material. It's not made for this technique. It's made for making bite registrations. And so they can't charge any more for this than they do for any other bite registration material because most of this material is sold as bite registration materials. I'm using like a millimeter or milliliter or two of this material to make what is called a custom matrix. And I use that custom matrix to reform my composite. So just some examples of some of the materials that are made. These are in your handout. And I don't push any one of the particular materials. They all work. I would pick one with a short working time because you don't need a long working time to take this type of impression.